Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Generation Selects Tiger Track. This decal set includes three decal sheets on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Tiger Track both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Tiger Track is nothing but a flat-out repaint of Siege Sideswipe, except he came with a pistol, where Sideswipe only came with the rocket launcher there on his shoulder. Now, taking a closer look at Tiger Track, he does look really good. Great face sculpt, just like Sideswipe. He's got blue eyes, red Autobot logo right there on the chest, silver headlights, uh, moving on down, we've got some red on the knees, and really, that's about it. Back of the vehicle, lots of blasted clear plastic, and that is pretty much it for robot mode. So there is one final look at Tiger Track in robot mode before and after. Tiger Track gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting with the head, he gets new silver decals for the horns. Along the chest, he gets these new stripes along the side, along with new decals for the headlights. He also gets a brand new Autobot symbol on a white background and a Maximal logo on a white background. So he's like a Maximal Envoy or something. He gets new decals right there above the bicep. Some black decals that wrap all the way around. Here on the forearms, little blue decals. Moving on down to the waist, he gets silver and red decals on either side of the hips, a blue triangle right there, and another blue triangle right there on the crotch. Moving down to the knees, new red decals here, and the feet, the feet get quite a few decals. You can look in there, there's a blue triangle, silver decal, and this silver one with the red dots. Inside the legs, he gets new black stripes. Also, on the side of the arms, he gets new yellow decals with black stripes that help break up all that white. And lastly, on the back of the figure, he gets a jetpack decal. So that is really cool. So there you go, guys. There is Tiger Track in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Tiger Track looks a little off. And I think that's because of this massive clear cockpit right here that just shows off way too much robot junk. I mean, I do not like that at all. But aside from the cockpit, which takes up about 50% of the car, the rest of the vehicle looks really good with the black paint applications there along the side, the black up here in the intakes. You got the Autobot logo once again, a black bumper, the silver headlights. The wheels look really good. Take note, Hasbro. Siege wheels look great. You botched it with the clip-on Earthrise wheels. The back is a little plain. Could use some work. But all in all, not a bad-looking vehicle mode if you could look past the cockpit. So there you go, guys. One final look at Tiger Track in vehicle mode before and after. And vehicle mode is where this decal set really shines. As you can probably tell, he's got a brand new roof decal right there that helps break up all that clear plastic. Now you do have options. You can do the black roof like I have here, or there is a yellow option. I went with black because, well, black's more badass. Now, of course, the window is still wide open. I really wish there was a decal to go over that, but oh well. He also gets new decals right there. There's nice silver vents 
Along the side, there's new yellow decals right there that covers that black. The stripes from robot mode, as you can see, they carry over the entire vehicle. You got new black decals here, black decals right there, black decals along the back. So I really like the striped look. It almost looks like a yellow jacket opposed to a tiger. Let's see. The front of the vehicle, we've got a tiger logo. Now you can use that tiger logo or there is a Lamborghini logo. And as you can also see, there is an optional black Autobot decal. Of course, we've got the headlights once again. Rear of the vehicle, he gets tail lights. So vehicle mode looks really good now. I dig it. So there you go, guys. One final look at Tiger Track in vehicle mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Generation Select's Tiger Track really adds a lot to this figure. He's way more than just a yellow sideswipe repaint now. He's got character. I love the striping. I think that looks really cool. Plus the Maximal logo. It's kind of ingenious to tie this generation in with Beast Wars. Like I said earlier, I wish he had a window decal to cover up that clear plastic. But still, the new roof decal adds a lot and I really dig this figure now. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!